Guess who's back? Back again. Tell a friend. Sophie's back. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie and it has been a minute since I have been on this channel and I'm really sorry about that, but I'm gonna get into why I didn't upload and I think you might understand. Yeah, let's just get on with the video. So if you have been on this channel for a while or you have watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that the last video that I uploaded was all my world's vlogs, which by the way, best experience ever. It was just, <laughs> so if you haven't watched them, you should definitely go and watch them because they're probably some of my favorite vlogs to be honest maybe like one of my top three favorite vlogs it was the most amazing experience but it did take its toll on my body and I came back and just crashed <laughs> like I mean hardcore crash I was gone kaput finished mentally physically emotionally everything the trip was amazing I spent the first 10 days with all the world stuff so we trained every single day for like a week straight which in the heat and the amount of hours we were doing obviously took its toll on my body anyway but the adrenaline kept me going and then the second week I got to go swim with dolphins and spend time with my family and friends and if anyone who knows me knows that I have wanted to swim with dolphins since I was as young as I can remember. I have literally always wanted to swim with dolphins, so that was the best experience ever. And again, all of this second week, I am running completely on adrenaline and excitement of going into Disney, going to the parks, going to the shops, all of that kind of thing. And then I had a rather tricky flight home. My body didn't really play ball. I wasn't very well on the flight home. Thank you, Pots And struggled with the flight home. And that was just kind of the beginning of my body being like, hey, I'm done, so you need to like chill out. But me being me decided that it was a really good idea to go back to work the day after we landed, which it was, jet lag, didn't get it, kicked that in the butt, but obviously didn't really give my body any chance to rest at all. So I'm not sure which was better, jet lag or not resting. My body crashed, but I managed to get the world's vlogs edited and uploaded. I can't remember if I got them captioned, I think I did, but don't hold me to that. But if they're not, I will get around to doing it. But um, yeah, I managed to get them and then I was just so physically and mentally drained that I just couldn't face uploading a video and it kind of felt like I would be forcing myself to and that's not what this channel is. I do this channel because I love this channel and I want to make these videos and so to me if I started forcing myself to upload videos it would kind of defeat why I am doing this. When I came back not only was I physically exhausted but mentally I was just... <sighs> I was gone, gone like the wind. I, I'm sorry, I'm still weird. Nothing's changed there. Still the weirdo you love to watch, or I hope you love to watch, or just watch and put up with. Either or, I was just so mentally drained and I would just be falling asleep to be honest. Like I'd come back from work and if I didn't have cheer training because we had competitions not long after I came back with my club team, then I was just falling asleep like left, right and centre and my symptoms of all of my lovely conditions all started flaring up because when one flares up, the other flares up and they all like to flare up. So yeah, I had a bit of a rough time mentally. Like my mentality wasn't great. I was in a bit of a crappy place, excuse my language. And I, videos was kind of the last thing that I was doing. Like I know I don't ever, Put out on these videos that I'm always happy or that chronic illness is not hard because it is and it takes its toll on you mentally physically emotionally all of the above especially when you are like me and try pushing yourself maybe a little bit too far with work and cheer and life in general and I just I don't know videos was the last thing that I felt like doing and like I said I didn't want to force anything so I didn't and then that kind of I don't know, every time I thought about making videos, I would get sick or 
something would happen and it would be a bad day that I was going to be doing it and so then I wouldn't do it. You do sometimes have to listen to your body and kind of give your body what it needs and for me what it needed was to kind of be free of any stress because I put myself under this random stress of I have to upload at 5pm on a Sunday every single week which became really difficult because every other Sunday I was at Team England training and sometimes I'd be at work and it became so difficult and I know you can schedule but making sure that it was uploaded, it was captioned, which again for me can be very tricky captioning videos when actually I'm one of those people that watch videos captioned. So that's very hard because I talk from the heart in my videos, I don't script my videos. If I miss an upload I was beating myself up because I didn't upload and let's be real, A, I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm still a really small YouTuber and two, do I class as a YouTuber because it's not my job. Anyway, we'll count that as two because why not? But number three was no one's expecting me to upload at this time every day or every week, but yet I'm still putting that pressure and beating myself up if I don't meet it or putting the pressure on to meet it. And sometimes if I have a busy week with maybe three or four hospital appointments and work and cheer, having a video uploaded, edited, filmed, all of that, is so hard and I would be pulling all-nighters which isn't great for anybody. I don't want to film just to film. I want to film because I want to film, I want to film what I want to film and I want to do it and love it like I always have done in the past and so I decided that I thought it was best for me to maybe take a little break from YouTube and the pressure I put on myself to make sure I have to upload and just focus on the rest of the cheer season the start of the new cheer season and just focus on my health my life and everything and I am in much in in much that's that's English Sophie I am in a much better place mentally right now and that's why I decided to start filming again and also I've seen some of your lovely comments that you've uploaded on in on my Instagram pictures and on some of my older videos and when I get a new subscriber come through or a new comment that's lovely and I'm just like it's like a reminder to me like this is why I do it and it's like it's reset my mind of like my channel and my videos and why I'm doing this and the things I want to upload again and I'm still going to do the same kind of things but I'm not going to put the pressure on myself of you have to upload it this time on this day of a week. It's going to be a I'm going to upload and I'm going to try and upload at least once a week but if I miss a week I miss a week and that does come with health issues and just life in general to be honest when you aren't doing this as a job this isn't my job I have a full-time job I coach two teams and I ch chain with two teams so I don't allow myself very much time in life <laughs> at all Ever. I just wanted to give you an update of where I have been because I know I did disappear which can be really annoying when YouTubers do that and I am really sorry but I didn't think that it was a good idea to carry on something that I didn't think would help my mental health and my mental health wasn't in a good place. Still have days where I just want to cry and hibernate but don't we all? <laughs> And yeah, I'm in a much better place now and I've got a lot of things going on. I'm lucky with the people that I have in my life. There we go. But um, what's new in my life? I'm not going to give you a whole cheer update again because I am going to do a separate video for cheer updates and what's happening this cheer season, although we are kind of halfway through it. But I'm going to give it to you anyway so that you know what's coming up. And if you want to meet me at any comps like one I was already at, which was amazing may I just say it was so incredible having people meet me so if you like this video or like that I'm back or just like that my mental health is better which who doesn't be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not already please be sure to hit that subscribe button because it means a lot to me every time I see a new subscriber and also I want y'all to y'all what am I American <laughs> I want you all to just kind of join the big old family air hugs camera hugs join the family let's go on this road together and yeah so if you're not already please be sure to do that if you have any videos that you would like to see me do then please be sure to 
put them in the comments below because I always loved looking at what you guys wanted because although this is my channel and I do like to upload certain things I do love to know what you guys love to see me upload so please be sure to do that and I think that just about covers everything so I am gonna I'm gonna say goodbye and until next time keep watching stay strong and stay safe bye guys